Aquarius, welcome to your June reading. This is a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and all rising. You take it as you resonate, okay? First, we're gonna look into the energies that you're bringing from May, April, you know, past times. So that's going to be important for your growth throughout the month of June. We have the High Priestess here, Six of Pentacles in the World card. All right, some of you decided that somebody has to go. Intuition was telling you, could be, okay, we have Two of Cups here and the Devil. Yeah, some of you released yourself from a toxic person, toxic situation, something that was just not working out in your highest, you know, highest good. Why am I saying this? Because you wanted peace and balance. Somebody was secretive as well. And I do feel like you're raising your spiritual awareness. You're also focusing more on your intuition here. But you knew that something has to end with the world card, all right? This can be somebody from a distance. Could be a fixed sign, a Scorpio. Could be also a Pisces or a Virgo because of the High Priestess. Whatever this is, all right, guys? This, okay, we have Ten of Swords here, yeah. You definitely ended a toxic relationship, a toxic friendship. We have two of cups here. I do feel like you guys are now focused on what you want instead of what you don't want. In terms of, especially in terms of love and relationships here. For the others of you, you know, you kind of like had to release yourself from something so that you can man manifest something else with somebody else. And there's a lot of like spiritual things going on, all right? I'm not talking, I'm talking like, you know, through your dreams, through you spending time alone, a lot of things keep unfolding here. I'm also getting here that balance is being restored, restored, <laughs> also in terms of work, in terms of, if you had conflicts with people, environment, I do feel like these things are also getting in place, all right? They, you know, they're fixing itself here. Because with the world card, you know, something major has ended here and you're fine with it. Because you know that there's something else out there that you're currently looking for, currently striving for. I don't know what it is, but it's up to you, okay? There is a chance here, a potential. If you're single and you got rid of the old karmic cycle, there could be a soulmate that's coming in. or by the end of May or you already know who this person is and that's why it's so easy to close the old cycle for some of you and you thought you could juggle especially those of you you know who, who work study or do you know a bunch of things at the same time you thought you could juggle situations you th thought you can juggle people you thought you can manage everything at once it turns out you can't and that's why something had to end here for others of you, you're closing a major life cycle with education. Like a very important aspect here. Okay, now let's see here. What's going on? What's the theme of the month for Aquarius for the month of June? Okay. Had three of wands. You wanted to fall in the upright. So I'm go uh, in the reverse. So I'm going to talk about it. So the theme is going to be more or less, guys, you know, don't wait for others to come to see you, don't wait for others to apologize to you, you know, like stop waiting for others to manifest things, manifest things in your life, because I do feel like this cycle you closed was precisely the lesson that you were supposed to take from it, you know, and by enabling the old energy come back, you know, you're kind of disabling the new one to come in, I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about, the whole purpose of this is, okay, you guys, you got to step out of your comfort zone as well, you know, be a little more explorative. I don't know, whatever the three of wands is for you, whatever you're waiting on, if you're waiting for them to come back, they're not going to, I don't feel like they're going to come back. And I don't feel like this is even what's supposed to happen because, you know, you close the cycle because the universe wanted you to close the cycle. And you're fine with not going back there from three to two and now you're back at three so it's basically like you're going to be tempted here to go back to the old so do this month you know kind of like pay attention to the temptations pay attention to you know patterns of behavior going back and forth here as well 
what's coming towards Aquarius in June okay we have hope <laughs> letter jealousy and unexpected joy in your fierce position why okay so first card we got is hope so basically this is the three of wands all right look at the energy it's the same energy okay but for me hope is not a manifestive card it's more like standing by the shore and waiting for things to happen so i do feel like there's going to be more waiting more hoping more wishing because guys you gotta take action the high priestess is passive you seem very passive here yeah we have eight of swords two of pentacles and the king of swords yeah this is you okay you're not making a decision you know the thing is that the longer you postpone making the decision to completely walk away from what you close the cycle to um the chances are higher that you're going to put yourself in the eight of swords which is mental prison which is i don't know how to get out of this anymore and then there's this hope this is like wishful thinking here yeah, judgment so you need to wake up you know you need to make a decision here based on logic. You need to know what you need to leave behind and what has to be done. You know, what's concrete, what's bullshit. Because you have the King of Swords energy. This is you being grounded, but yet I am feeling here a lot of overthinking happening and a lot of, you know, juggling with emotions. This is like going back and forth between, you know, what's real, what's not, is what I'm getting. All right. So that's so you know you're wishing for something yes it might come in but i don't feel like it's a smart idea to go back to it because you closed the cycle to it just recently so there could be also something from february or like two weeks ago that is very important for you this can be also this cycle so i don't know if you were waiting for a job there can be two options to pick from if you're applying for a lot of them if you didn't you have to step out you know <laughs> apply i mean logically nothing's gonna fall from the sky if you want that relationship you're gonna have to be more open to it because king of swords is also emotionally yeah so the king of swords is also very emotionally distant you know he's not really he doesn't really open up that easy you know and then we have here letter so that's your second card letter is normally eight of wands type of energy so wow the candle is on fire no it's like the the it's blinking like crazy so the message that's coming in is important here i do see you communicating openly i do see you being open to new experiences being open to these changes but then okay with the letter here and the king of swords i don't i don't feel like you're gonna take down the wall i don't feel like you're going to make like um going to be free here to involve yourself again into something romantical or some other job or some other adventure that you were planning to do you know because i i just saw three of swords so i do assume that there was a heartbreak here i do assume that there was a difficult situation but it has to be done Yes, Page of Cups, the heart front. We have Taurus energy here. All right, some of you guys, you know, this this is it. This is it. Battling, there's an offer coming in. For some of you, this is, you know, like the job offer that you've been waiting for. For the others of you, it's a relationship. But I do see struggle here, okay? And the problem that some of you are going to be having is because the person has other options. There's competition going on around this person. Like a very desirable energy could be a Leo, could be a Taurus, could be a Scorpio, somebody younger, or you could be a younger person communicating to somebody older, somebody very spiritual. I also get here that you're going to have a very spiritual approach to changes that are happening. And this conflict that you're going to be having with yourself is because you're embracing changes. So, you know, like, I do feel like here main message so far is that you need to be open to communication you need to be very very ready for what's coming because it's something that you wished for is coming but i don't feel like you're going to be taking it this way because it's not coming in you know in a shape or form the way that you imagined it <laughs> you know what's this 
Oh, we have Ace of Pentacles. Definitely a new job offer for some of you. So let's see here. But in your environment, there is somebody jealous. It could be somebody from the distance. Let's see, who's the jealousy energy here? Eight of Cups, King of Cups. Could be a Cancer. I see Scorpio, especially a Cancer. All right? Yes, yeah, somebody here. This is somebody you walked away from. Strong water. This is somebody you walked away from because you outgrew them emotionally, all right? You didn't want to deal with their bullshit anymore, their dramas. This is also, I'm feeling a person who's emotionally manipulative and now you've moved on, possibly romantically, but in any way, I, this is the card of somebody moving on and then somebody doesn't like that the other person is moving on. Yeah, this is it. Somebody doesn't like that you're getting a pray, uh, you know, they're getting applause, they're getting attention from other people, from other energies. And this is the same person that you close the cycle with. So, you know, I don't know. They don't like that you're getting the attention. And, you know, this person could be also messaging you, but I don't feel like they're going to do much. They're just creeping. You see here, this guy is creeping, lurking here. He's not doing much. They're just going to, maybe you're going to hear gossip here. Fake news. <laughs> like Trump. Fake news. No, but seriously, you're going <laughs> to... Why did I put his name in this video? No, but seriously. <clears throat> so something that you wished for, the new thing is coming. The two of cups is coming if you were looking for a relationship. If you're looking for a contract with work, it's coming. But you have to be open to accept it because I do feel like a lot of you are going to be like, oh, I don't know. Also, with love, you're going to be struggling a lot to express your feelings, guys. But I do feel like... It's worth the effort here because we have unexpected joy in your fierce position. And I don't like when this shows up. Why? Because this means that you're scared to get out of your comfort zone. You're scared that things are actually going to play out in your favor. And I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, a lot of people are scared of happiness. They're scared of reaching the level where they have nothing to complain about, you know? I'm not saying you're like that. I'm just saying, giving you an example. Or, you know, people who are like, I just want a normal, calm relationship. And then it comes in and they fuck it up because they're not emotionally ready to engage in this because they're not ready to get out of their comfort zone. So this is kind of like what I'm picking up on. Whatever's coming in, you're going to be like not so receptive towards it because you're going to keep cutting it off emotionally, mentally, you know, but there's going to be a lot of overthinking anyway. So unexpected joy, yes, this is the fear of things playing out perfectly, you know? This is the fear of getting the job you wanted and actually getting a very good salary for it. Things getting better than, than actually you thought they were. And then we have Leo again here. So you definitely have a Leo coming in or you're embracing an energy of Leo. So around the end of the month, you're going to be taking more action, you know? You're gonna be more courageous around the end of the month. Like the beginning, the beginning of the month seems to me like just you kind of like overthinking, contemplating, dealing with the person that you cut ties with. Okay, so let's look at this. Yeah, this is the closing of karmic cycle here, and they're not mm, they're not progressing, they're not changing. So what's the unexpected joy here for please? Sun, lovers of the nine of cups. Yes! <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you, Aquarius. Look at this. Sun, the lovers, and the nine of cups, right? So you definitely, there's a Leo, there's a Gemini. I don't know, whatever this is. Guys, you're afraid that your wish is going to get granted, that this is going to be the connection that you're seeking. There's going to be joy, abundance. Long-term commitment, you know, that, that, that there's happiness here at the end of the tunnel. That's your fear. That's your fear. Just because you got heartbroken once does not mean that you're going to get heartbroken 50 times and that that's a normal feeling, you know? We have the hermit here. So some of you are getting out of the isolation as well because Ten of Swords was right next to it. You're done, you know? Because you're going to focus on your own happiness here, when this Two of Cups happens, when you start feeling the energy here, that is normal, you know? That is not some fuck, you know, not, not some drama queen bullshit or somebody who just likes to cause mess and anxiety in somebody's head but rather calming normal energy here 
this is when your fears are gonna be you're gonna overcome them and a lot of emotional withdrawal don't do this seriously if you want this new relationship if you want something new yeah we have seven of pentacles here reap what you saw again the hermit at the bottom <laughs> Yeah, you see here, what you invest throughout the month of June, that's what's gonna come back around. You know, if you put the seeds, if you, you know, kind of like worked hard to get that relationship, if you worked hard to get that job, if you put your work, if you know, if you roll up your sleeves and do some work, it's gonna play out for you. What's the oracle here? Seeds well planted, Aquarius, basically. You know, if you overcome your fears and phobias. Yeah, looking good. Okay, so let's see. What's the oracle here for Aquarius? Taming the wind. Okay, now let me just get... Um, I forgot. Shame on me. So 55. There it is. Taming the wind. This is your oracle for the month of... Sit here. It's time to clean up. It, 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 <laughs> Today it's not the day. I swear. It's time to clean up any mis misunderstandings with others. Clear the air after disagreements and allow others to share their side of things. You are now called to be a good listener. This is not the time to be right. That's the King of Swords. It's a time for you to understand rather than be understood. Good things come out of this restraint of a tongue and pen. You will be surprised at how things get resolved when you allow all sides to have value. And then it says here, it's time to clear your energy, be present, become conscious of how you communicate. This is a good time to write in a journal and put your thoughts into a cohesive form. Perhaps you need to actually do a smudging ceremony or create a sacred space, write about your dreams, desires. But it is time to honor the great spirit with reverence and respect okay so this is what's coming up in terms of an oracle message it does resonate here big time all right so now i'm going to take a look at love all right i'm going to do one card only for singles and one card for couples this is just an advice here there's going to be an oracle follow-up I like it how singles uh, are like, oh, thank you pay for paying attention to us. Of course, guys, you know, you're even more interesting here, you know, because there's so many options. All right, so Aquarius singles. Oh, woo. okay, couples. Oh, nice, Aquarius. Basically, none of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is awesome. So a single, there can be an, oh, whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> Okay, these fell out together. And then Ten of Cups here. Uh huh. Okay. So, singles. Aries coming in. Strong fire. If it's not an Aries, this is somebody here who is very confident, very self, you know, assertive. Is this it? Yeah, this person, you know, the thing is that this person comes in, their approach is going to be different than what you're used to. They're going to be more on point, you know, they're going to be more focused on action and less on like mind games and bullshit. And then we have here, it's safe for you to love and calling in your soulmate. So this is what I was talking about, guys. If you had a heartbreak once in the past, it doesn't mean that every single one of them is still going to be this way, you know? And be kind of like more emotionally open because I do feel like this is a good thing for you guys. You're gonna gain your confidence back. You're gonna learn that there are other people out there, you know. It's kind of like being more open. If you wished for a soulmate, soulmate's coming. But you know, for me, I don't like this, this because everybody thinks that when a soulmate comes in, this is all happy and rainbows, but it's not. It's very messy and ugly. But this is the type of soulmate that you need right now. And if it says it's safe for you to love, I don't feel like a lot of, you know, horrible, bad things are going to happen. It's just, you know, a new, different type of connection here. Okay. Now, couples. This is interesting. All right. Some of you, I do feel like since the codependency fell out with it and love yourself first. Um, some of you, if you're dealing with a Pisces, for example, um... I do feel like here there has to be some time off and uh, not done before you start shouting and before you start leaving comments 
I do think that it is healthy that you sometimes travel without your partner. I do think that it is healthy to have something that you're doing on your own. Because some of you are getting too much if dependent on your on our partner. You're losing kind of like the touch with yourself. And I'm not meaning this in a bad way. I'm just saying it, you know. I don't really care personally for what's going on. You know, it's just the storyline that I'm getting here. And there's this, this one girl is standing here in the mountains, right? So I do, some of you need to get to the, go to the spa, you know, or like go for a weekend in the mountains, in the nature without the partner. Just to kind of like recharge the batteries, not break up with them. I, that's not what I'm meaning. I'm just saying that when there's an unhealthy codependency between people, people tend to forget who they are. And then they forget how to love themselves. And, you know, when they break up, they're like, oh man, you know, I don't know what to do now. And they get from one relationship to another and they don't know how to, you know, they lose themselves from one relationship to another. And then what they've done, more damage, you know? So, this is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.